Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. Hope you're all having a good day. I got a request to check out a video editor, a video editor called Shotcut. This is a uh, cross-platform video editor, I believe. I looked at the website for it, and we're gonna see if I can get it to work on Chrome OS Flex. Now, this is a program that's for uh, Linux, Windows, and Mac, and um, I don't know if the request was to check it out on Flex particularly, but we're gonna see if you can get it on Flex, and it could be a good video editing for, solution for people that are on Chrome OS. And uh, in order to do this, you have to have the Linux environment set up and installed. I have several videos on my channel about how to do that. You can check it out. And so we're going to pop open the terminal here once Linux is set up. And I should have looked up how to do this first. Um, I'm just going to see if it's in the regular Debian repositories and type sudo apt install shotcut and see if it works. Oh, and I put a 3 at the end right when I was hitting enter. All right, here we go. Go ahead and install that. And while that's going, in case you're wondering, I still have uh, Chrome OS installed here on this uh, B-Link Mini S Mini PC. This is a, um, I think it's a, it might be a quad core. It's either a dual core or a quad core Celeron with eight gigs of RAM and a 256 gig uh, M.2 hard drive. It runs pretty good, except Chrome OS Flex on this has been having a lot of crashes, especially on Linux. I talked about this in a prior video. That might be because of the uh, 104 release of Chrome. I'm not sure. But I got a lot of responses um, to that video that I did of other people saying they're having Linux crashes on Chrome OS Flex. So it might just be a thing. And um, while I uh, get ready to open Shotcut here, the icon's right there. But you can also find it at the bottom under Linux apps. And I'll pop that open. I'm probably going to be taking Chrome OS Flex off of this B-Link mini PC soon because I want to use this as a Linux server here at my house. So uh, if there's anything else you want me to check on this particular device, let me know soon because I am going to be taking Flex off of it. So uh, here's Shotcut, and it actually looks like it opened up pretty quick. So I'm pleased with that. And um, stupidly, I don't have any videos on here to test this out with. Let me... Uh, <laughs> do I have anything on this drive? Hmm. Dang. What was I thinking? Here, let me just do a screen recording real quick. And then we will import that in there and try to mess with that. All right. So we'll just record a few seconds here, and then we're going to put it into the uh, Shotcut editor and then see what we can do with it. I've never used Shotcut uh, before, so I don't know particularly how it works. I did download it on my Mac and it opens and so I know it works on Mac. I have an, an ARM based M1 Mac and I saw they have Windows downloads on their website too. So I got my screen recording. I wonder if I can just drag drop it since it's a Linux app. I'm going to guess maybe not. Okay, no. So drag and drop doesn't work, but I'm sure there's an import function. Let's see. Yeah, I should have, uh, maybe I should just read this. There's got to be a way to get videos in besides drag and drop. What's this plus do? Doesn't seem to do anything. Do I have to make a new project first? Ah, uh, that's probably the problem. All right. I guess I made a new project. Now can I drag that in? Being a Linux app on Chrome OS Flex, since this isn't real Linux, um, I've noticed a lot of times you cannot do drag and dropping and things like that. I wonder what open other will do. You know, open a device. Gosh. See, if I made this, you'd be able to go to file, import, and uh, there'd be an option just to import a uh, video. And it's probably sitting right in front of my face, and I just can't see it. Um, and if you guys want, if you guys are interested in Shotcut in particular, I can... Uh, load this up on my Mac and do a video specifically about this video editor if you are interested in it. Um, I mainly wanted to see if it would work on Chrome OS Flex and it obviously does. But I at least wanted to just kind of test something out to see if I can make it do something instead of just looking like an idiot here in my video. But I uh, just right off the bat here I, I don't know how to use it good enough to do that. So I apologize for that. But um, here's Shotcut. I, the command to install it was a sudo apt install shotcut. I'll copy and paste that into the description of this video if you want to install it. And actually, if you're interested in other Linux-based video editors, uh, there's a video on my channel specifically about that where I looked at several 
and um, this is one I omitted from there so this is why I'm picking up on it now so uh, go ahead and check that out um, like I said if you guys want me to do an in-depth video on the shot cut editor here uh, let me know and I can go ahead and learn to use it first and then make a video about that so that's what's up there anyway so that's gonna do it for this video like I said if you're interested in installing Linux stuff on Chrome OS Flex I got tons of videos on my channel uh, along those lines so you can go ahead and subscribe like the video if you liked it and if you didn't like it it's pretty neat that you're still watching at this point but other than that I hope you all have a good day thanks for watching and um, try to stay out of trouble or not bye now